Cena has been on fire of late here in WWE. And I think we're about to see another hot You'd be hard pressed to find a better tag team match than we're about to see here. So if you want something to hold on Superstars in WWE today. His power and tenacity make him so dangerous in that ring, and it's believed he can win any championship on any given night. I like the pairing, Michael. These two work so well together as a team. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. You could call this a good old fashioned butt whooping. Yeah, that's exactly what we're witnessing, a butt whooping. Oh, Cesaro is the king of swing. He's gonna build on his reputation of being a wrestling machine between the ropes and destroy anyone who crosses his path. And Cesaro sees the opening. Not today, too fast. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. The 
there may be no stopping him. Somebody's going to get hurt in this match. Oh, out of nowhere. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. Somebody wants in this match right now. You know, King, every time John Cena steps into the ring, he steps into it like he is the C Nation's champion. Whether that's true or not, no matter who the opponent or what the reaction of the crowd may be, in Cena's eyes, he is the good guy in every match. Well, you know that's usually the case, Michael. If Cena comes across as the straight-laced, small-town guy who just happens to be a dominant WWE superstar, well, that's because he is. The courageous leader of the hustle, loyalty, and respect movement is putting it all on the line right now. John Cena's on fire with an unstoppable momentum. Somebody wants in this match right now. There's the camel clutch, and somehow he's got to take the pressure off his neck. Well, John Cena may like to play the squeaky clean All-American boy, as we said, but don't think he won't fight fire with fire when an opponent tries to stoop to some down and dirty tactics. John Cena prefers a good clean match in that ring, but don't get confused. He's fine if the match turns into a street fight. Oh, what an awesome loop there's press! Ooh, John Cena may have it. There's the five knuckle shuffle. That had to hurt. Quick thinking to avoid that. Uh oh. That'll rearrange your spine. There's some serious power right there. I remember plenty of John Cena contests where John had no other choice than to start returning the favors from some opposing WWE superstars. Cena likes to play by the rules, but if an opponent is going to take things in a rule-breaking direction, great counter. As awful as it is to say at times, John Cena is such a domineering entity between these ropes. Right now, we're witnessing him assume full control of the contest. And the rest starts to count. From the top! This could do it. Maybe he is. The switch here to Cesaro. Tyson Kidd gets out of that one. Nice move. Not today. Too fast. And now he's back out on the apron. Submission holds are a huge part of Daniel Bryan's game. Whether it's his yes lock or a guillotine choke or something else, Daniel can push his opponent to the break. What an insane move by Cesaro. dialed in. Oh. We're looking at complete domination here. Yeah, a kick combo. In a kick combo. He's really taking over this match now. You know, Michael, some of Daniel Bryan's submission moves are virtually unbreakable. Just ask Dean Ambrose or Randy Orton or Rey Mysterio. Ask any of them. They've all been pushed to the breaking point by Daniel. Uh-oh, they're running high knee. That had to be painful, Cole. Oh, there it is. What a maneuver. And will this be it? It may be. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. to avoid that. Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them 
are having a great time tonight. Oh, you're right about that. You always have a great time when you attend the WWE event live, just like we are here tonight. This is wonderful. You know, we can talk about all the different moves that Daniel Bryan has in his collection. And believe me, there's no shortage of them. But I think the one the crowd likes to see above all the others is the surfboard. to move by Cesaro. There it is, the finisher. This could all be over right now. Oh, and it's up. He got the shoulder lock. He may have lost the upper hand, but Daniel Bryan is still in this. The referee getting involved now. He's setting it up. You know, Daniel really has mastered the surfboard. If he has his opponent on the ground, he can inflict an unbelievable amount of damage with that surfboard. Sometimes, I think he's going to remove the other poor fellow's limbs when he uses it. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. Oh, out of nowhere! This one's not over yet. We've seen plenty of people come back from being in a lot worse shape. Oh, wait, nice reversal. We've seen this before. This is not the and he lets him out. Well, he might have been losing some of his grip there anyway. He probably figured it would be better to release the hole now before his opponent could counter it. The ref's out. Ouch. After a move like that, he's going to need to see a chiropractor or a spine specialist, whatever he's comfortable with. No pun intended, of course. Yeah, he's not going to be comfortable for a while. There's the switch. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for, the win. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, man, is he fired up. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Is he still even conscious? Oh, man, shoulders down. Is it enough? This may be it. Oh, wow. 
Whoa! A direct hit. Talk about getting tagged and knocked in the middle of next week. He looks absolutely unstoppable here. He's sending a message to the entire WWE locker room here. He lands the strike with great accuracy. Quick thinking to avoid that. What a move! What a smart move! Oh, wait, nice reversal. Cesaro and the cover! And he's in there trying to get something going for his partner. Uh-oh, big move coming! If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Oh, <laughs> what a shot. That did some serious damage. Going for the cover. starts to count. We're looking at complete domination here. Going for it again. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Great hold being applied. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. Man, oh man, did he take a wild swing with that one. Good right. That was wild indeed. Good thing we're over here. And there's the count. Wow, he's still down after that. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Two. Going up. Three. This has been a war. You're right about that, Cole. This has been one of the most physical battles I've witnessed in a long, long time. He gets the tag. Oh, that's got to be it. Tyson Kidd. How about that finishing move? And a kick out. And that's all that matters. This match continues. Wow, what a display of heart and determination. Not today. Too fast. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. And there's the tag. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. He's got more tools than a Swiss Army knife. Oh, he missed. Oh, nobody home that time. Hey, this may very well be it. 